The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take this to McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Old Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Reed McCoys. Oh, here's George. Oh, morning, George. Morning, Amos. Hi, George. Hi, Luke. What can we do for you? I'd like to pick up a couple of dozen eggs. Well, you'd have to talk to Luke here about that. He's in charge of the chicken and the egg department. What's the matter, Amos? You ailing? No, I feel fine. Only every month or so, I just turn over a farm department to Luke here. <laughs> yeah, that's right, George. So when Grandpa retires, I'll have taken over the whole farm kind of gradual-like. You don't say. So far, I got the, the chicken house and the cider stand and the tomato patch. Run them all just as I please. Amos, I'd say you're a right smart fella. Well, that seems to be the opinion around. <laughs> I'll get your eggs, George. Yes, sir. Pretty slick, Amos. For long, you'll be living like a country squire, just running back and forth to the bank, cashing your Social Security checks. <laughs> That's right. Social Security checks? I don't get no Social Security checks. You don't? No, no, I ain't sick. Amos, you don't have to be sick to collect Social Security. You mean even if I was strong as a horse, I could be getting money all this time? That's right. Well, now I am sick. <laughs> Boys, do about this, George? Oh, sure. Now, Amos, uh, you must have had a few jobs in your life where you earned some money away from the farm. Well, of course, back in Smoky Connors, yeah. And all you got to do is apply for the money to the government. Our government? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I hear the worst changes this new fellow in the White House is making, but they had no idea they'd gone that far. Oh, sure. It's a regular thing they got for the older people. Oh, for older people. Well, that explains why I don't get it, George. I'm barely 68. Amos, yeah, you can get it when you're 65. <laughs> Sometimes when you're 62. 62? Why, that's practically a kid. Here you are, George. Oh, thank you, Luke. And Amos. Don't forget to write off that letter. You might have a nice surprise coming. Yeah. Well, see you. you. So long, George. Come on, George. Well, what letter's that, Grandpa? Oh, me and George is talking about writing to see about my Social Security. Hey, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Well, I don't fret about it, Luke. There's some folks that just works with their hands. Well, it's the rest of us works with their heads. Let <laughs> <laughs> just get a pencil. <laughs> Sure, Grandpa, it just come. A letter from the government. Oh, Social Security. Yeah. What did they send me? What did they say? Oh, you'll find out in a minute. Is that all they sent you? Is the yellow piece of paper, no money or nothing? It takes a minute here now. <clears throat> in answer to your inquiry, we are attaching a statement of wages credited to your account. You will be entitled to old age insurance payments when you become 62 in March of next year. <laughs> now, hold on a second, Luke. Come on, sit down. You sit yourself down. Now, read me that again. Oh, yeah. In answer to your... No, in not that. The last part. According to our records, you will be entitled to old age insurance payments when you become 62 in March of next year. They say I ain't going to be 62 next year? Oh, yeah, but I'm 62 minus 1. That's 61. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Grandpa. No, there's some kind of a mistake. No, there ain't no mistake. You just said that's what I said there. Yeah, but everybody knows you're 68. Who says so? <laughs> you always said so. That's right. On your last birthday, when we had the party, you told everybody you were 68. Well, now, who are you going to believe, me or the United States government? <laughs> Look, don't you know what this means? You'll have to give back all the presents? It means I'm a young man again. I've got seven whole years of my life to live over again. Can <laughs> you sing now? You want to see Bob get decision on the decision. Grandpa, oh, wait just a minute. Now, and it don't surprise me not one bit, Luke. No, sir. 68 never did fit me for a minute. <laughs> just think. 61 again. A whole life to live ahead of me. <laughs> Right, 
great Granny McCoy for Grandpa's birth certificate. Because if we don't get this thing straightened out, we're going to be stuck with a teenage Grandpa. <laughs> well, we're going to have a pretty good month this month. Hey, Kate. You the one who washes his shirt? Well, what's the matter, Grandpa? Didn't he come clean? Well, look at the collar. You got so gone, not much starch in it. It's stiff on the board. I don't want no starch in my shirts. I want them soft and youthful. Grandpa, I thought you liked lots of starch. Well, that's when I was seven years old. Now, where is that the pokey dot tire board? Oh, it's on the desk, Grandpa. You remember, no more starch. Good evening, Senor Grandpa. Don't call me Grandpa. I'm only 61. <laughs> What's that you got there? I found the chickens next for Luke. Well, put it on the desk and get. Go on, go on. Say. Well, good night, Senor. Amos. Okay. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Say, Luke. Hmm? I'm going to order another hundred of them day old chicks and we change the feed we're using. Oh, well, Grandpa, we can't handle no more just yet. Well, sure we can. The trouble with you, Luke, is you just don't know how to think young. <laughs> but you put me in charge of the chickens. Well, I know, but I'm taking over again. I ain't retired for ten years now. <laughs> and I'm going to make something out of this place, Luke. And that goes for the side stand, too. You think better of it, Luke? No, he won't. That's all he's been doing for the last couple of days, is buttoning in and ruining everything I've been working on. Think young. And how come we ain't heard nothing from Granny McCoy yet? How come that? Well, now, Luke, we only wrote to her a couple of days ago. Good evening, everybody. Nice night for a game of checkers, huh? <laughs> Say, uh, what's going on? Where's the old man? Oh, ain't you heard, George? There ain't no old man around here no more. Just Kate and me and young Amos McCoy. Young Amos McCoy. Mm-hmm. He got a letter from the Social Security saying he was only 61. 61? Your grandpa? <laughs> George. <laughs> oh, this is our evening for Checkies, ain't it? <laughs> and I'm sorry I won't be able to play tonight. I'm stepping out with Clary Morgan. Clara Morgan? What about our checkers? Well, now, George, to tell you the truth, I, I sort of lost interest in the game. I believe checkies is for, uh, for old fogies. But I enjoy the game. Oh, I'm sure you'll get another partner, George. Oh, you mean another old fogey like myself, huh? Meaning no offense, George. <laughs> and I'll say good night. Don't wait up for me. I might be late. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to take Bernice Summers on a picnic today? Oh, I got to work and lost track of time. Only take me and Jiffy to change. Why, Luke and Pepino with you? Yeah, they're coming right behind me. I tell you, I never worked so hard in my whole life. He's just out of his mind with energy. Well, what were you digging? He called it a water ditch. I think it was my grave. <laughs> <laughs> Any mail come today? I forgot to look. Maybe we just got to do something to slow him down. See? It's here. It's here. It's come. Well, bless that dear little old lady. She just saved our lives. <laughs> hey, Grandpa better brace himself, because in a minute, he's going to be 68 years old again. I ain't been able to find Amos's birth certificate yet. <laughs> but it seems to me he was older than Bert Fletcher, and Bert would be 65, except he died 10 years ago when he was much younger. But <laughs> if you was to ask me to come right out and say his... When you caressed me, it was then heaven blessed me. What a blessing no one knows. My guess is that he's between... 60 and 70. And if he says he's only 61, that seems as good as anything to me. Julep, when you wore a tulip and I wore a big red rose. Shaving head got two bits. <laughs> Dripping, 
Where are you taking Widow Schneider, Grandpa? Oh, we're going to drive in movie, Luke. Drive in? Oh, and then you're going to take the flivver. It ain't a flivver, Luke. It's a convertible. Oh, Grandpa, ain't you going to have some supper before you go? Oh, stop worrying, Kate. We'll get us a hamburger and a milkshake at the diner after the movie. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. It must be some kind of a weird miracle. You know what they say, you're only as old as you feel. <laughs> oh, well. What's that? Well, it's Granny's letter from Smoky Corners. Well, I thought I'd put that away. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this one ain't opened. What, must have come in today's mail and got slipped inside this farm magazine. Dear Kate and Luke, I finally came across Amos's birth certificate, which I am sending. I'm sorry, it's mussed up. It was in a kitchen drawer, and I wrote down a peach pie recipe on it. What's the date? 1894. Oh, you see? 1894. I was right. He is 68 years old. Oh, happy, happy day. There it is in black and white. Now we can stop all this foolishness. Oh, Kate, I tell you, I can't wait to see the look on his face when I show him this. <laughs> well, what's the matter, sugar babe? Oh, nothing. I I was just thinking on how happy Grandpa looked tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, but... In fact, he's looked happier the last couple weeks than I've ever seen him. Yeah, but all this business of the, the shirt and the gallivanting around and not eating proper. Lou, Grandpa's worked hard all of his life. He raised a family, taking care of us. It ain't been easy. Now, all of a sudden, he's having fun. It's kind of like he's enjoying a boyhood he never had. I just hate to be the one to take it away from him. Well, sugar babe, we always wanted a child of our own. <laughs> No, I guess we got one. <laughs> I got the tractor already. Where's Grandpa? He finishes breakfast? He hasn't come in to breakfast yet. Do you mean he's still in bed? I guess he was out kind of late last night. Grandpa, are you up? Coming right in. I got the tractor all set and Pepino re... Grandpa. Well, don't just stand here. Get going. Grandpa, what's wrong? Wrong, wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. Just oversleeping, that's all. Oh, no, easy there, Grandpa. Easy. Now, now, leave me be, leave me be. Just give me a minute to catch the wind. Oh, bed's a place for you. Come on now. Easy. Get Dr. Townsend. <laughs> Doctor. A classic case of sheer exhaustion. What's he been doing? Well, he's been working real hard lately, and he's been missing some sleep. We'd better reverse things. Let him miss some work and catch up on his rest. Lots of it. Yeah, well, he's not the easiest fellow in the world to keep in bed. <laughs> I know. He's just been telling me that bed's no place for a young man of 61. <laughs> I thought he was older than that. Uh, he is. He just likes to think of himself as being real young. That's a thought to get out of his head. I don't want him overextending himself. Remember now, complete rest and he'll be fine. We'll remember, Doctor. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye. Doctor. Well, I guess that's it. Grandpa, the doctor said that... Hey, look, look, we got a lot of work to do today. Get all that, that track to work on that upper pasture. Got that fence to mend. We got to move that rock pile. Tonight's the night of the farm dance. <laughs> Grandpa, don't you think you ought to take it a little easy? You know, you can't, Kate. You're only young once. Yeah, that's right, Grandpa. Once, not twice. What are you getting at, Luke? Well, Granny McCoy found your birth certificate, Grandpa. It'd come in the mail. Well, now, maybe now you'll quit pestering me, eh? Grandpa, you're not 61. Not 61. 
<laughs> Don't tell me I'm younger. <laughs> no, Grandpa. You see, somewhere back along the line, you, you probably give your age wrong. But it don't really make any difference. You're right back where you were before, 68 again. That's right. <laughs> 68, huh? Well, it, it don't really matter, Grandpa. Remember, you're as young as you feel. I can't believe it. 68. It's seven years older than I was five minutes ago. <laughs> Boy, that makes me practical 75. Oh, Grandpa, I've been trying to tell you you're just the very same as you was three weeks ago before you ever got that government letter. No, I know better than that, King. In them three weeks, I put on 14 years. I know that I'm going to be old and useless someday, but I never expected it to happen all... Once, that's all. <laughs> Just heard the good news. You're back to your honest age again. <laughs> Who is it, Kate? What did he say? George, Grandpa. Let's celebrate by having a little afternoon checker game. I'm afraid not, George. Just don't have the strength. <laughs> oh, Amos. I want to get back to my bed, Kate. All right, Grandpa. I'll see you tomorrow, George. Tomorrow? You've been spared that long. <laughs> Ain't it awful? I never saw such a change in a man. Yesterday delinquent, today decrepit. Then we used to wait on him hand and foot, like he is completely helpless. I never thought I'd live to see the day. I still don't think you will. What do you mean? You know, Amos, he's a funny old duck. Maybe there's a way to snap him out of it. Well, what way is that, George? Well, what do you say we fight fire with fire? What's the idea? Shutting it off. Oh, Grandpa, you said yourself you have to avoid excitement. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, but I thought maybe you too would like to see it. Oh, one. no, Grandpa, you come first. <laughs> Besides, Grandpa, I think you best get back to bed. Yeah. Now, look, don't be making all this fuss over me. Oh, oh it's no trouble Grandpa. at all, Grandpa. After all, you'd do the same for me if I was old and helpless. <laughs> old and helpless? Remember what Dr. Talmadge said. Oh, now. that you need a lot of I tell you, sugar babe, if there's one thing better than your suppers, it's your evening snacks. <laughs> oh, thank you, Luke. Would you like some more hot apple pie? Yes, ma'am. Right after I have another piece of this scrumptious fried chicken. Kate, is there any fried chicken left? Oh, Grandpa, did you get your appetite back? Well, I figured if I tried real hard, I might be able to handle a tiny bit, but... Oh, fine. Uh, Luke, you take Grandpa back to the bedroom, and I'll get you a glass of nice warm milk. Warm oh, milk? Oh, yeah, best thing in the world for you, Grandpa. Warm milk. Make you sleep like a baby. <laughs> does seem to be taking hold a little. Good. I get the clincher with me on the porch. Hi, George. Hi. Well, good evening, everybody. Just dropped by to see how things were. Oh, about the same, George. Weak as a kitten. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I'm sorry to hear it. Well, I can't stay. George. Good evening, old friend. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be in bed. Well, I just peeked out to say hello. Did you bring a checky board with you? Checkerboard? Heck no. I'm on my way to the dance with the Annabelle Falker. The dance? Is that tonight? It sure is. And her sister is visiting with her. I'm taking them both. You are? <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Come in, girls. Of course, you all know Annabelle. And I want you to meet her sister, Estelle. How do you do? How are you? Yeah, all right, Grandpa. Back to bed now. <laughs> Estelle is just here for a week. Doesn't know a soul in town. She don't? Yeah, say goodnight to everybody, Grandpa. Just a minute now, Luke. We can't stay anyway, Seamus. I know it's past your bedtime. My bedtime? Yeah, that's right, Grandpa. Come on now, we've got to turn in. Hold on, Luke, we can come Grandpa's got to get in the rest. He's run down and sort of tired. I'd say it's working fine. He's getting back every minute of those extra seven years. Thanks, George. We'll have him back to normal in no time. Yeah. By the end of the week, we're going to have to tie him in bed. <laughs> we'll see you later. We're off to the dam. <laughs> Bye, Bye George. Nice to see you. Bye. Have a good time. Thank you. We'll do that. George, give me a couple of minutes to find my pants, and I'll go along with you. 